Welcome to Impacting Jamaica. I'm Tamika Gordon. I'm speaking with John Mafood, outgoing president of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association and CEO of Jamaica Tees. Mr. Mafood is also a certified public accountant and growth strategy expert. He's kind enough to share his time with us today to discuss the outlook, his outlook for the Jamaican economy and give a few pointers to our diaspora members on areas in which they can invest, as well as how to go about doing so and you know, help to spur economic growth and national development. Thank you for joining Impacting Jamaica, Mr. Mafu. Thank you for having me. Great. It's always good to speak with persons in your position, you know, to get a read on what's happening in the economy. I want to start off by looking at some of the things about Jamaica that make it suited for investment, especially in this post-COVID era. Is there anything that sets us apart? Well, let, let me start off by saying that um, even in the worst of times, um, there are opportunities in every market. And... Um, you know, folks who are who live overseas, uh, who look at Jamaica, um, have to look at the opportunities that exist based on their experience in their own market and determine whether there is an opportunity to bring that to Jamaica. Um, and And so, as I said to you, even in bad times, there are always opportunities. Now, at this time in, in Jamaica, it's actually a very good time to invest. Uh, since 2014, when the Jamaica signed the IMF agreement uh, that set out a plan for economic stability, we have had essentially almost 10 years of economic stability. That means that Jamaica is one of the few countries in the world that um, has moved up their ranking in terms of um, international rating agencies because of the, the things that were done in the last 10 years. And, and you know, when you Think about it. Number one, we were at one, our GD, our debt to GDP was 144 back in 2014. It's been reduced consistently to even during COVID, and it's now at 78%. Um, the aim is to get to 60%. <laughs> and of course, that means that um, much less of your country's budget is spent on service in debt and more is available to service uh, the, the country's needs, you know, whether it is infrastructure or security or, 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 or education. Um, the, the other thing people need to understand too is that while we have a trade imbalance in, in manufactured goods, uh, we import just over 8 billion US um, and our exports are uh, just about 2 billion US. <clears throat> the deficit is more than made up from uh, tourism approaching 4 billion and um, remittances of 3 billion. Again, that is important because it means that there is no shortage of foreign exchange. And in the past, we used to have fluctuations in foreign exchange and devaluations. Uh, now, the Bank of Jamaica is doing a really great job in, in monitoring the exchange rate and, and, um, and coming in when it needs to, to stabilize it and staying out when it needs to. So we're having a reasonable small fluctuations in our exchange rate and that can give an investor confidence knowing if they invest in Jamaica, if they buy property here, not only will they be able to remit dividends and, and profits 
uh, but they'll be able to get the US dollars and the rate of exchange will be stable. That's extremely important. And the, 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 uh, the last thing is, uh, during the course of the last 10 years, our interest rates have come down significantly. Um, like most countries post COVID, we did experience a surge in uh, inflation going just about above 10%. And so the Bank of Jamaica instituted increases in the interest rates um, like other countries. And we are um, at seven, the Bank of Jamaica rate is 7%. Um, so it's not, um, it's not totally, it's not too high. And one hopes that as inflation comes down, it's currently at 6.8%. As it starts to come down, interest rates will come down again. So on, on overall, you're saying you, when you invest in Jamaica, you can, you can get your profits back. You, can, you have a stable exchange rate. You have a, 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 a country that is rated highly by the international rating agencies and you have um, a political system that is working. So there's a lot of positives to give confidence to an investor that if they have the right idea to invest, they'll know that they can uh, invest with confidence. And on that note, I want to ask, um, what is your take on the atmosphere overall? It so, so, seems to me that you're saying now it would be a good time. What's your take on the atmosphere for, you know, investments in Jamaica right now? Um, the, you know, what I would say to you is that, um, you know, once you have that stable economic environment that allows you to place your funds in Jamaica, invest in Jamaica, um, and take your funds out when you want it, that's the main thing. In terms of um, the economy, uh, we're growing at um, a relatively, um, you know, we're growing at about 2% a year. That's not really that fast um, because, partly because, uh, you know, the BO, the Bank of Jamaica has increased the interest rates and the intention of that is to slow the economy in order to slow inflation. And we see that trend everywhere. We see it in the US where there is this debate about whether the interest rates are so high that the US is going to go into a, a recession. Um, that doesn't stop people in the companies in the US from investing, but we are not at that stage. We are at a stage where yes, interest rates are, 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 are somewhat high, higher than we would like it to be. And this has a negative impact on certain industries like the construction industry, uh, which has slowed. Uh, and that is because uh, folks are not as able to get mortgages because of the higher rate. But in, in general, we're growing um, and we have um, a, a good environment in which to grow. And, you know, um, my sense will be that this year, well, coming year 2024, will be positive and continuing to be positive. There are companies here that are investing very, very heavily. Uh, Ray and Nephew, for instance, in terms of Jamaican investment anyway, they're, they're invested $65 million in a new plant to process the waste from making rum. Um, uh, Wisinko Group is investing a huge amount in a new expanded warehouse facility, and um, and all of our manufacturers are beginning the process of of investing in equipment to increase productivity. So um, I would say to you, when people invest, they invest looking at the future, looking three years, five years, 10 years. And um, my sense is this is one of the first times in our history since independence when you can look with confidence at the future. 
and you can say, you know, I don't see anything on the horizon uh, that is internally, that will internally um, cause a, a negative situation. The political system is stable. And even if there is a change in government, I think the, 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 our, our politicians have matured tremendously and see the, the need to have a stable environment and a business led in uh, environment. And so it's a great time for those reasons. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Also, please remember to subscribe for more.